the No Fake channel, checking in. On this episode of Dad's Gadgets, I'm going to be helping you decide whether you should buy the GoPro 10 or if you should go with the GoPro 9. We're going to go into accessories. Of course, we're going to talk about cost, performance, expectations, and the future of these GoPro cameras. If this is your first time to the channel, hey, give the video a like and Hit that, red, hit that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Gadget series, I just review gadgets that come across my desk to help you decide if these will exceed your expectations and if they are worth your hard-earned money. I don't do fluff and puff um, videos. I just get down and dirty to the information. Number one with regards to GoPros, are these great cameras? Yes, they are small, they are versatile, they are effective, they shoot great stuff on the go, they are durable as well. The GoPro has designed these very, very well to take a pretty good beating. And listen, you can't go wrong. The price points are really, really good with regards to what you are getting. What are you getting? You're getting the top of the line video cameras that can shoot High rates is frame, high frame rates. You can shoot in 5K. You can shoot in 4K. You can strap this thing to a helmet to the front of your car. You can strap this thing to your kids' handle bikes. The list goes on and on. Another great thing about going with GoPro is that there's so many used accessories that they're pretty inexpensive. Obviously, you can buy brand new from GoPro. However, the used market is rife with regards to how many great used accessories that you can do to really save your money when it comes to buying the extra batteries and the holders and the lenses and the gimbals and all that good stuff. Um, I will say, number one, if you have a GoPro 8, if you have a GoPro 7 or earlier and you are looking to upgrade, just go with the GoPro 10 for a few reasons. Number one, it is currently the top of the top. And number two, buying brand new, the price point is exceptionally low. I was able to pick this up for $300. And at the end of today's video, I'm going to talk to you about a little bit of a GoPro scam that they're running and how you can avoid it. But $300, that includes their bogus subscription charge of $50 that gives you a one-year warranty and unlimited uploads and a little bit of a discount on their accessories. Now, if you already have the GoPro 9, should you get the GoPro 10? And the answer is yes and no. What's the difference between the GoPro Hero 9 and the GoPro Hero 10? Now, we all know the 10 is better or it wouldn't be called the 10, it'd be called the 9. Well, the, the 10 does have a few more shooting options when it comes to frame rates and quality of footage. I think for the average user or even the average YouTube creator like myself, you're really not going to notice the upgrade on the shooting options just because you're really not going to be shooting in 5K and you're not going to be doing a ton of color correction and stuff like that when it comes to the editing process. So I don't think many of you and even myself are going to notice the big difference in terms of those bonuses. I will say it does have better stabilization. It has the Hyper Smooth 4 versus the whatever this one has, which I think is the 3. So they have improved the stabilization if you are going to be strapping this to your chest while you're riding down the side of a mountain or if you just want to have that buttery smooth stabilization without having to use a gimbal uh, that would be the way to go on the 10. the biggest difference at least in my personal opinion is the interface unfortunately the nine interface on the back screen was a little wonky it's just it works but it takes a few times it is slow in part because of the whatever software is in here and, and because of the processor. The 10, they sped up the processor. They added some balls to it. And the touch screen on the back of here is very snappy and it makes it very convenient. For most of you average users, again, you're not going to notice that big difference. I think for me, where I kind of switch between scenes with regards to indoors and outdoors and time lapse, I noticed it quite a lot and I love that improvement. So if you have the 9, should you buy the 10? And the answer is twofold. If you're happy with the 9 and it's doing everything that you want it to do, you've already got a sunk cost in the 9, I would say stick with the 9. Conversely, if you are really annoyed by that back screen and you want better stabilization, better footage, because the 10 does have better overall footage, although again, 
most of you aren't going to notice that difference, then I would say go with the 10. A good thing that you could do potentially is to simply sell your nine for what would probably be close to the $300 charge of buying a brand new 10. Something to consider. One of the great things is that all of the accessories with the nine will fit the 10. So if you got the, um, if you got the attachments, if you got the the mic mod on here, they're going to fit the 10. If you have extra batteries, it'll fit the 10, etc., etc. Overall, I'm glad I got the 10 because I use these things so often. And the footage on the 10, especially when I shoot inside, which is typically a no-go for GoPro cameras, has been really good and much more usable than the 9. Will I try to sell the 9? Probably if I can get the price point that I want, which would make this GoPro Hero 10 at $300, an absolute no-brainer. So what is the scam that GoPro is running? Obviously, like many companies, they have different sales from time to time. Um, and unfortunately, I went to go look at the price of the GoPro Hero 10, and I was already logged into my account. Now, my account from buying the GoPro Hero 9, I'm a GoPro subscriber, which is an annual charge of $50. And it's a, they basically force you when you buy the camera to get that subscription in order to get like a reduced camera price. And then you have that subscription for a whole year and they hope that you don't remember to cancel it so they can keep charging you money. You do get stuff with the subscription. You get like a 100% warranty on your camera. If you, if you break it, if you smash it, if you just roll it over with the car, you can mail it back in and get a brand new one for some copay of like 50 or or $100. So that is good. Also, they have unlimited uploads with regards to file storage and a host of other things that you can do that do make that $50 worth it if you use it. I went to go buy the 10 to see what the price point was. It was going to be $350. Now, here's where the kicker is. I logged out of my account and tried to buy it without being logged in, without already being a GoPro subscriber. It was $300, and that is with the $50 charge of becoming a brand new subscriber. For some reason, they are hosing their current uh, subscribers, their current GoPro members in lieu of trying to pull in new customers with a greater discount. Now, I think that is a shame. That's why I'm really making this video. So hopefully I can kind of spread the word. If you are looking to buy a GoPro Hero 10 or any other GoPro device for that matter, I would highly suggest you make sure that you check the prices logged out of your account and logged in and make sure that you go with the cheapest one. For me, it was just as easy as setting up a brand new account, buying brand new, and obviously just saving $50 right out of the gate. Hopefully you found today's quick video regarding GoPro cameras fun, informative, and not too long. I'm a big fan of the GoPros. I try to use them whenever I can because I think they really just dumb down a lot of the video capturing process and you can just attach them to everything. If you came this far in the video and you want to support the channel, you want to help the cause, and you want to make sure that I keep making this great, quick, fast content, do me a favor, use the Amazon links in the description of today's video. You're going to shop on Amazon anyway. You know you are. How does it work? You click on the link. You buy whatever you were going to buy at Amazon.com. Here's what they do. They reach into Jeff Bezos's pocket. They reach it. They're deep pockets. They reach in, pull out a little bit, put them in my pocket. They reach into Jeff Bezos's ex-wife's pocket. Hey, did she really earn that money? Who's to say? They reach into her pocket too. They pull out a few more pennies and put it in my pocket. Those pennies do add up over time, but those two individuals don't even notice it. Hey, we're probably doing them a favor tax-wise anyway. Hopefully you found this video informative. Give it a like. Hit the red subscribe button as usual. Thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.